up guys digital vfx here and this is just a quick video to explain how to reduce the crackling noise in fl studio if you have noticed in any of my past videos because of all the programs and stuff i have going my cpu just kind of fails and some of the uh, songs are just unlistened you can't even listen to them just because of how much it crackles and i remember in my last video on how to make a uh, david guetta style sound i think it just got so distorted and I finally figured out a way to uh, reduce that without using ASIO for all because as um, I said in one of my videos, ASIO for all does not let me record uh, audio with it and it only lets me use FL Studio um, with the sound driver. So what you're first going to do is you're going to go to audio settings and uh, right here obviously I have ASIO for all which makes it fine but when I record it will not let me play audio through FL Studio so I'm just gonna do primary sound driver you're gonna set the sample rate to 44 uh, 100 which is kinda what it is you're gonna set it to about 135 milliseconds for the buffer length you're gonna select all three of these use 32 bit buffer, use polling and use hardware buffer and then uh, smart disable multi-threaded generator processing and multi-threaded mixer processing resampling to linear and those should be pretty much basic settings there might just be one or two things you need to uh, click on there and safe overloads and highest priority um, but here is the most important part which I found you can go to tools and you're gonna go to macros and then you are going to select switch smart disable for all plugins and this is essential because what this does and I'm going to show you a, a difference like comparison in a sec what it does is it um uh, if it closes an access if you're not using it so obviously if I go in here I have Zeta Plus and all these Nexus channels and everything but I'm not using Nexus 100% of the time so it will only turn it on when I'm using it so right here I have a remake of the sound levels by Avicii and as you can see there's a lot going on and without all these settings the thing would crackle like crazy so I'm going to turn off this and see what it sounds like. Actually, I'm going to turn off some of those settings because you don't use these. Those are kind of what makes it better. So let's see what it sounds like with this. So now let's turn those back on. And so it sounds pretty good um, with those settings. And uh, it was a little crackly. I don't know if you caught that, but it was kind of crackly, but not. It was it was pretty good. So then if you go to macros and smart disable for all plugins. Every possibility of crackle. So uh, I hope you learned something and I hope you uh, get rid of that annoying crackle that's been bugging me for a while. But uh, it's been a digital VFX production and thanks for watching.